Good afternoon, everybody. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Condo Insider that is put on by Hawaii Council of Community, Hawaii Council of Community Associations. And today, as my guest, I have Talia Raposa, who is with DocuTrieve. And um, DocuTrieve is a very important um, part of the, um, the condo process when you're purchasing or doing any kind of refinances things of that nature because they hold the, um, what we call the RR105C that a lot of lenders rely on um, when they're doing a purchase for a condominium. So Talia is gonna go through the process about DocuTree and the importance of the accuracy of the RR105C. So Talia, I wanna welcome you to our show today. And let's get started. Oh, perfect. Thank you for having me, Raylan. So nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, in person for once. Yes. Um, so Talia, what and who is DocuTree? If you can yeah. explain it from your end. Yes, I can. Uh, so DocuTree, we're kind of just like a side part of Title Guarantee. Um, and then we help serve kind of just like real estate industry um, in two ways. But mostly I think what we're going to focus on today is um, as far as like kind of documents and for that, especially like we help with like different management companies and we kind of act as like the customer service um, and helping provide documents for uh, people who are buying, selling in certain associations. Um, so what kind of documents would that entail for, for like condos? Would it be like the declarations, bylaws, um, house rules, all those kind of documents? Does it, does it include financials? Yes, it's going to include all of that. So we're going to have, um, of course, it depends on the different association. Some of them may not have all these documents, but it'll include like things like articles of incorporation, uh, the financials, operating budget, the property information form, R105C, it's also known as that, lender's disclosure, um, CCNRs, bylaws, house rules, uh, reserve study as well. Uh, it's going to cover a lot of things. Okay. So the managing agent would have to um, upload those documents to you or they make, or someone like, I would make a request if I want certain documents, um, make a request through the DocuTree website, and then um, you would process that, that order um, to obtain all those documents from the appropriate uh, managing agent. Is that how it works? Yes, pretty similar. Um, so what you would do is you go to our website, www.docutrieve.com. And on our website, you're going to see the condo disclosure order form. So you click on that and you're going to enter in the information. So it's going to ask for your information up there on the top. Um, then the second part is the property information. So that's going to be whatever property that you're interested in buying or if you're the seller, it's going to be that. And then it's going to list the different dis uh, documents that are available. You're going to go through, click whatever one you want. Uh, we go through, we have it in our system. We have a lot of these documents already on file. Uh, and we'll check with the management company to see like what has been updated so that we make sure that when you're going through with your purchase, uh, refinancing, whatever it may be, that you're getting the most current available documents. So who actually completes all the information, like specifically the RR105, who, is, who has the responsibility and the liability for the accuracy of the information in that um, R105C, even the lender's disclosure. Yeah, um, so the R105C, so that is gonna be completed by typically the property manager. Um, the management executive will also help out with some of that information, um, but the property manager, just because they're gonna be on site, they usually have an idea of like uh, how many units there are, like who's in, who's leaving, that kind of stuff. Um, so the information is completed by pretty much the management company and like different employees. So the management company is going to be responsible for the information. So if there's any errors, then it falls back to them. DocChief is kind of just like the middleman. Um, so, so we're kind of just customer service. So you're just like the bank, the paper bank. <laughs> yeah, essentially. It's a good you know, way to put it. <laughs> the paper bank. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, um, so let's go back a little bit. So what exactly is the RR105C? So the RR105C, it's uh, the prop or the property information form. Um, so it typically has information on the property, property name. We'll have some information on like the managing managing agent information, 
Um, and then it'll have like the number of units, percentage that has been sold, owner occupancy, uh, that kind of stuff will have like information on like foreclosures, um, kind of like what's being, uh, let's see, it'll have insurance information. Uh, so like insurance agent name, financial information. And then if there's like anything, uh, any like reserve um, assessments. It, it includes litigation too, I think, right? Yes, it does include litigations. Yeah, if there's any any pending or, or litigating, litigation in process. Um, so when you get a request in, like say there's a request going in today and mm -hmm. um, you would, you have the processes you would send and like say it's for a certain managing agent, you would send them the request saying, hey, we need an updated R 105 c Is that how it yes. works? Yes, so that's essentially what's gonna be. We're gonna check what we have um, and we're gonna say like, we need the updated, like, say you requested the R 105 c we're gonna say we need a new one, uh, we need a new lender's disclosure, we need to check if the financial statement has been renewed, um, the monthly one, so like, we're at the beginning of January. December is not quite going to be ready. We're going to check like if, uh, let's see, November is ready um, and see like if there's anything else like board minutes and whatnot available as well. Because they do have an age date. They're only yes. good for so long, right? So how long are they normally good for? Yes. So typically, um, I believe most banks, they have the age date for like, they want it within 60 days. Um, but usually it's, I think, a little bit closer. So it could be like to 45 days. Yeah. Um, right. Just because that's usually how long, like I think 60 days is about the typical transaction time if you're like buying. So um, pretty much almost every transaction, it has to be relatively current. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, I can imagine the, the daunting task on the managing agent, especially in a, in a busy market, where it's like sales today, there's another sale tomorrow on the same property, and you're like, oh, I just did it. You know, that's gonna change, it could change the owner occupancy just yeah. by a sale, you know? And yeah, especially. Um, the, so the property manager would also have to work closely with their general manager and resident manager mm -hmm. on the accuracy of that owner occupancy as well, because some programs require a certain amount of owner occupancy, um, like FHA. But, yes. um, it's it's a it's a collaborative effort on a bunch of people to get this this piece of paper filled out completely yes. and as accurate as they can. Um, so, um, any other information that you want to include about DocuTree? What else do you guys do? Um, mostly we handle like the kind of documents. Um, some other things we do is we have a system um, available like DocuTree online. Um, but that's mostly for uh, mostly like legal offices, um, just providing like electronic copies of like tax maps, uh, different recorded documents at the Bureau of Conveyances. Um, so it's just kind of like a way to stop so you don't have to go to the Bureau. So are you able to even go to look up the Bureau to get um, like, like I was looking for a most recent copy or the latest copy of um, our of a um, condo's declarations because we had a hard time doing it ourselves even though they said it's available that you know it can be over to the point i'm like i can't pass this one thing keeps giving me nothing you know so mm -hmm. um so would you be able to are you a source also to even pull up like to verify what the latest um um document is recorded yes we are. Oh, okay. Because I ended up having to go down to the bureau to look it up. Because I couldn't, I couldn't. I'm like, even when I was there, they had to come help me. I go, you keep showing me the same thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. Okay. Because yeah. most of your title companies won't do it. You know? Yeah. Just to verify. I go, I just want to know if this is the latest document. That's it. You know, I had yeah. a document number and wanted to make sure nothing was after that. You know, because then I'm not, I'm cool. Okay. That's good to uh, know. Yeah. That's really good to know. Um, yeah. um, that you can at least, there's another access um, for some of this information. Um, yeah. Because on the lending side, I know a lot of um, people complain that um, they can't get um, certain documents from the managing agents um, when they're trying to do certain certain loan programs. So at oh, least we have yeah. another source that we could 
hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, I know we have this available uh, mostly for like, yeah, the condo documents. We should have all those uh, documents updated for you and available uh, if you're ordering the condo documents through us directly. Um, mostly like the doc chief online, it's more so like if you have like the individual, it's like a certain property. So like you have a certain address or something that you're looking at. Um, but as far as like condo documents, mostly all that will just be directly through DocuTrieve. Okay. And then what is the cost? Does it depend on the type of document that they're requesting? Yes. So it depends on the document type for one. Uh, as far as condo documents, typically uh, our starting prices are like a dollar per page. And then there are some documents like the RO105C and lender's disclosure. Those are at a set price. So like the RO105C um, is set at $140 and then the uh, lender's disclosure is set at $85. And then when you submit the request, do you give the property managing agent um, a, a, a deadline when to get it back to you? Yes. So we have, um, it's advertised on our order form as well. So your order is going to be completed within five to 10 business days. Um, 10 is going to be like the absolute latest. We usually get things done much faster because we do a lot of follow-ups with the management, management companies. Um, so typically they get those to us within at least like five business days, um, but usually shorter. Wow. Okay. That, okay. <laughs> That's really good to know. So yeah. I want to kind of like go back. So the accuracy of that RO105C, the lender disclosures, they're really, um, they're really, it's really on the property manager, the person that's filling out the information, the property, um, the managing agent, they yes. have that direct liability for the accuracy of that information. Yes, they and do. And DocuTree, and it'll be on the managing agent's errors and omissions for any kind of errors and stuff like that. And when you go into that direction, DocuTree has nothing to do with the accuracy, you're just the holder of the information, um, the library bank of documents. <laughs> yes, no, that's correct. Yeah, um, I wanna kind of clear that up because someone said that DocuTree carries the errors and omissions. And I'm like, I don't think so. But yeah, yeah I just wanna make that clear that it is the person preparing the document, the person or the company preparing that has the liability for the accuracy of that um, information. Yes, right. that's correct. Doctor, we don't make any edits to the uh, documents, any of them. And like you said before, the property manager, management executives, they're the ones who are going to be going through the information, verifying, updating, you know, like the owner occupancy, uh, if there's like reserves, uh, reserves process, uh, anything like that, they're verifying that. And then these documents are actually signed, uh, usually by the management executive. So it's gonna be signed and dated at the bottom so that they are the ones typically that are gonna have most of the information. Um, but as far as like property information, like owner occupancy, that's usually the property manager who knows more of those things. Okay, great. Um, I think um, we're almost nearing our, our um, time, but is there any additional information that you wanna add? So this is gonna be something that we could forward on to everybody. Any, um, any little tidbits that we didn't cover that you want to add? Um, related to DocuTrieve, so we have a lot of the different uh, associations. Um, looking at it, I think that there's about 2,000 associations on island. Around that, um, I'm right. not sure exactly the number. And about half of those, um, DocuTrieve holds documents for those. Um, and if we don't, we are usually able to know or find out who does hold the documents. So we're always able to help out with uh, some information on that as well. Okay, okay. Um, so does it have to be just, um, can it be a condo association that wants to upload their documents into DocuTree? Can they do that? Um, yes, actually we do have uh, some. So we work with a lot of different manage management uh, companies. We do have some that are just like, just the one association. Um, so it just depends. But yeah, we're here to act as kind of just the customer service so that you can just focus on managing the property. You know, if you're the management company, you have all that time, you can go through, um, take care of everything that needs to be done on day-to-day -day basis or just like um, the overall uh, upkeep of the property. And then we just help out with like, you know, 
those documents are needed for these different uh, loans or just like buying your first home or whatever it may be. So we help uh, alleviate some of that from you. Okay, cool. That's really good to know. Um, yeah. So I really want to um, thank you for being on the show with us today. Um, it was um, it, really good learning. I mean, I learned something from it, you know, um, and um, we hope um, we can also use it for today's session for training for other property managers on the use of and the importance of the RO and the flight sticks, especially the accuracy of it. Um, yes. Because there has been lawsuits in the past about involving the R 105 c and its accuracy. So we want to make sure, strive to everybody that this is not kidding around. You can't be time back. You can't be multitasking and doing this, you know, because there's certain things it's like, don't bug me while I'm filling out the swarm, you know? Yes. <laughs> you know, so, um, came to the, I really want to thank you for taking yes, the time so today much. to be on the show and, um, helping us to educate our condo community of condo owners and boards, even property managers, um, on this information. Um, yes. Thank you so much. So thank you so much. And as a reminder, I want to let everybody know that our next Hawaii council, um, seminar, is going to be, it's good. I think it's going to be a hybrid in-person or via zoom, but it's going to be on February 16th on a new program that the city and county signed into law last year. It's called benchmarking. And I really encourage everybody to attend in person because I already went to one training and it was really hard to follow even in person. So if you do it via Zoom, it's going to be even harder. So I really encourage everybody to try to attend in person um, because it's, it's signed into law and it's effect as it went into effect as of January 1. And it's kind of complex to do the, just the startup. Once you do the initial startup, then everything else should be relatively easy. That's what they're saying but I don't know. <laughs> so, um, but I really encourage everybody to try to attend in person. Um, and we'll have the flyer out probably next week. We're just finalizing our final location where we're going to have it at. Um, but I encourage everybody to make sure that they look out for the February 16th HCCR um, webinar seminar on benchmarking. So again, Talia, thank you so much. This was great. Um, thank you, Raylan. It was so nice <laughs> to talk to you and just you. be on the show for yeah, thank you so much. And thank you everybody for joining us today on another edition of Condo Insider. Thank you, see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, Please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.